The Moon Bears have not had a great start to the season, starting off with a record of 0-3, but so has our opponent today. We are taking on Ball State, who has also started the year 0-3, and they have a roster that is actually pretty similarly rated to ours. They only have a few players over 80 overall. One of them is their best offensive player, uh, Spiegel, the running back. And we have Magwood, the receiver, who only has eight catches through three games. And then starting at quarterback is sophomore Caden Simonza, who only has uh, two touchdowns through three games. So it seems like their offense is really struggling this year. And let's see if we can take advantage of that as they will start with the ball. So let's start midway through this first drive for Ball State as they are near the midfield logo. This run will only go for a gain of three. Simonzo will now throw over the middle. He has his man and we stop him short. So good third down situation here, but it looks like they're gonna pick it up. This will bring them down within the 40. This time, the run up the middle will easily get them the first and a little bit more down to the 21. Ball State nearing the red zone, throwing over the middle. He somehow hangs on to that one. That'll get him down to the 10. The run outside. He's going to be tracked down by Uluwabe. Still four yards left to go, and he's going to power forward for the touchdown. This is their starting running back, Spiegel. And Ball State starts off the day with a long drive. And they punch it in with this play. So now the Moon Bears will get their first chance. Here is the screen to Moore. And he's got a lot of daylight running up the left side. A gain of 23. A nice chunk to see here. Now trying to get the playoff, but... There was motion on that play, so false start's going to wipe away some of those yards off the big gain. Now second and 15. Niver steps back, and he has his man on the oh, on the side, Turner. That is going to set up a brutal third and 15 for Niver. He's going to try to step up and run. He maybe had Brock over the middle, but I don't think we were going to get the first on that one anyway. So we have to punt. And Walsh is hit. We do get the running into the kicker, which I thought I changed last week, but I think I do after this game, the, uh, or the roughing the kicker penalty. Even after the update, it just happens way too much, so that'll get changed pretty soon here. That'll keep our drive at live at least, and Niver will scramble for the first down here. We're now at the 35. Here's the handoff to Stewart. He really hasn't had much going here on the first drive, but here goes Moore, who had the big play before he gets picked up and thrown to the ground. We pick up five there. So Niver looking to throw. He has his man going to the end zone, and Ball State gets there at the last second to swat that one away. That would have been a pretty big play for us, and now we're dropping it. And the kick will go wide right. So even though we put together another impressive drive here, it doesn't matter. We come away with nothing. What's new? So we're already in the second quarter. Ball State is on their second drive. We're going to actually get a stop here. Force a quick three and out. And the Moon Bears will take over with another chance at redemption. We pick up four that time. Now the play action for Niver. No one's open. Just dump this one off. Third down. We're going to hand this one off to Stewart. He easily gets the first down and more. Makes the safety fall. We're down to the 15. Great run that time. And now we're going to do the sweep play to Julio Young. He's got some space on the outside. Just short. 
almost punching it in. But we can't make the same mistake as the last drive. We got to get this one in. Stewart will finish the job. Touchdown, Moon Bears. And Stewart is definitely the best addition to this team in this past season. He was on the roster last year, but didn't really see any playing time. But Ball State with three minutes left. And luckily, that one is swatted down. We got a third down and seven. But they have a man streaking on the sideline. We're going to stop him. But a huge play. Set up first and ten from the 13. The quick dump off will get him seven. Only needs three for the first, but they're going to go for it. Oh, we swat that one down. So they end up kicking the field goal. They'll take the lead 10-7. We have a minute and a half here, and we're immediately going backwards. Gardner with the sack. And right, we're going to pass this one off. So now passing here on third down, he has Johnny Schwartz, the freshman, picks up the first down. And now Niver trying to go deep to Turner, but he doesn't put enough under it. Turner was open, but that ball was so underthrown that, of course, that's going to be picked off. So another, another drive with nothing to show for it. Now we're just trying to prevent Ball State from tacking on some extra points here going into the half, which the Moon Bears have been known to let up. We do get them to a fourth and one. We're going to have 40 seconds here to try to take the lead for ourselves. And this pass is going out to Schwartz. We'll gain six. Nightmare now tries to step up, but is thrown to the ground. Throwing this time to the right to Young. He's got it, but they actually ruled it as out of bounds. So we end up challenging this. You see that right foot clearly in bounds. So they do give us the progress. Now Niver, he's got a man open. This is Turner. This one comes in right at the perfect time. Touchdown. Tried to hit him on the last drive. Wasn't able to do it. But this time, Niver is able to make it happen. Just a great throw right at the perfect time. And that will give the Moon Bears the lead heading into halftime. Score of 14 to 10. But overall, this has been a pretty even matchup. So we're really going to have to try to earn this victory here in the second half. The Moon Bears will start with the ball in the second half. This is going to Stewart. Nice run of five. We're at midfield now. Another handoff goes to Stewart. He's got some blockers in front. And he's up to 54 yards on the day. Here comes the backup, Johnny Daniels. He'll pick up five on his first run of the day. And now handing it back to Schwartz here this time, but we're going to get the holding call. We've had problems with this all year with this young offensive line. The freshman Spanway is hit with that one. The second and 15, Niver not really able to do anything on that play. Third and 19, just going for it all. Brock is not able to create any separation. And we uh, have to punt after that. Some Doza will throw here, get to the 50. And one of our starting linebackers, Jack Hines, gets injured on that play. So now the second down, we got good coverage on that play. And Hines is actually eligible to come back. So just a minor elbow injury for Hines. He's, we're going to put him back in the game, but for some reason it changed his jersey. So if you see that black jersey, it's like a default jersey. I don't know what happened, but he he keeps that on for the rest of the game. So I don't know. His elbow injury required him to change his entire jersey. But we're now back on offense. We're going to flip this one to Moore. That play was completely blown up. We lost six on that and more. It's actually like took a huge hit on that play, so he's kind of affected by that one. And now our pass goes straight into our own offensive line. That drive, we'll definitely want that one back. 
as we're actually going to force the fumble on the punt. Jordan Foster came in and knocked it loose. We get another big bailout here. And we're not able to do anything on that play. So we've got a third and 11. Ivor now going over the middle. He finds Brock. That'll get us inside the 15. Trying to hit Turner this time. He drops it. Third down and eight. And now Niver loses the football. Back-to-back -back drives for both teams. End with a fumble recovered by the defense. And the pressure that our young QB has had to face all season long is really starting to affect our ability to sustain drives. So Ball State, they've got a bit of a drive going here. From the 25, they're going to run it. And a nice run picking up the first on that one. They're going to go back to the run game on second down. They'll pick up four off of that one. Big opportunity for the Moon Bears defense to get off the field, and we're going to come up big. This is Tobetshi Okali, who is one of our transfers. Coming, into a, uh, coming to us as a grad transfer. So he's only season for us. Makes the big play. We're going to force the field goal so they can't take the lead. And it'll be a one-point game. So with under six minutes left, this drive is crucial for us if we're going to try to pick up our first win here today. We're quickly into a third and seven situation. And nothing is open on that play. We completely stall out. And now Ball State has every opportunity to win here. We do force a third and four. Huge play for us here. He's going to catch it. Hold on. That'll extend this. Still not over, though. We got two minutes left. He's going to find his man over the middle. That'll give us another, uh, give them another first and stop the clock. They're going to pick up another first on that run. And now they are well within field goal range. We have to stop them here. First down will pretty much end this game. So we are going to have some time left to try to win this. But they have a very easy field goal. The kick is up and good. And now we have to do the same. One minute for Niver. Can we get it done? Trying to float this one to Turner. We got it to him, but he just can't hold on. You got to hold on to that one. A third down and now miscommunication. Brock did not turn around at the right time. Fourth down for Niver. Going over the middle. We do pick it up. Daniels, the tight end, keeps this game alive. Now the first down. Trying to go for it deep, but... Another underthrown ball. That's just not where that ball needed to go. And Ball State will end it there. They can knee out the clock. The Moon Bears will not pick up their first win. Ball State will get their first win. Final score, 14-16. to And even in week number four, it is already feeling... Like this season is uh, pretty much coming to an end at this point. We still got eight games left to play, but that's kind of what it feels like right now. And now just quickly looking at the stats, but this was a very winnable game for us. And the interception just really hurt. And I mean, we wouldn't have been in the position to even throw those interceptions if we just had um, not had some of those key drops. So Niver only went 14 of 32 for passing. Stewart continues to impress on the run game, so probably going to have to lean on that more as the season goes on. Turner had the touchdown, but three drops. And that really, that really hurt us. A few players got TFLs. The one sack for Oakley. Uh, and really, we're not really able to generate much pressure. And also cannot forget about the missed field goal early in the game. 
Lincoln missed that one, pushed it to the right, and that was and that really ended up being the difference. So we had a few different pathways to win this game, just not able to come up with it. And after this game, with all the pressure that Niver is facing, I decided to make some changes to the line. Um, just elevating some guys that are better pass blockers. So Crowder is not the best overall on our team at 69 overall, but he is he has 82 pass blocks, so hopefully that'll help. And then I had some points to spend, so I came into the tactician tree and gave our running backs a little bit of a pass block and, and also a run block uh, boost. So now we can talk about recruiting. Um, Holland back did commit to us, so that's going to be a great... Uh, should be a great receiver for us next year and trying to find some more offensive linemen to go after i, I added a ton of o linemen to the board and uh muma here was the most impressive three star gem already has um, a lot of pass blocking ratings in the mid 70s and even 80s uh, it says his run block is 56 but um so really a good pass protector but looks like he's going to be uh, need a few seasons to get his run blocking up, but uh, he might even start next year. I, I don't know. We'll just have to see with what happens. So I do end up simulating the week. Just kind of want to get a little quicker through this season two. We we played against Florida International. We lost 37 or 31 to 27. It looks like we were attempting a bit of a comeback in the fourth quarter, but not able to get it done here. So that'll extend our losing streak on the season to five and. It looks like they played pretty flawlessly on offense. Looks like they didn't really turn the ball over. Two touchdowns for Dean Patterson in this one. And it looks like when we're not in the game, they're not really able to generate a lot of pressure, but um, with not a lot of pressure on Niver, I mean, that's probably how we scored 27 points in this. And Niver had a great day. Three touchdowns, no picks, 277 passing yards. Only took one sack the whole day, so... I guess that's kind of our vision going forward. We gotta... Gotta get this O line up. But then moving over to receiving stats, Javon Moore, 13 catches, 143 yards. Uh, great day for him, but he didn't even score. Uh, Julio Young got the two scores, and also Brock caught one. On his only pass. And then defensively, Uluave and Miles had the TFLs, no sacks for us, no picks, no fumbles, really not a lot to write home from the defense in that game. Now we got some players ready for visit. Enrique Souza, a three star gem safety. So we're really excited to get him in here. We really don't have much to pitch him on, so we pitch him on the program tradition. And then a three-star gem tight end. Another player that could probably play early next year. Get him alongside Daniels. All we can really pitch him on is the conference prestige, and a lot of our grades are in the tank. We got Ds and Cs all across the board. But just some other minor changes here at the end. We take Houston off the red shirt mostly just making sure that if if we have backup linemen come into the game that they're a little bit higher overall and then there's some other little changes that i made on the screen but that is pretty much ends it for today's episode hope you guys enjoyed and i will catch you in the next one goodbye